So LSU Futures is a very successful uh, festival uh, and with also this festival mood and philosophy, uh, many concerts, different formats of the concerts and uh, big uh, ideas behind uh, every uh, edition of the festival. For example, once we did what, is, uh, what are the possibilities of the, the symphonic orchestra in our hall and we performed work by Manuri where every, most of the orchestra was playing in the hall and not only on stage. One year we did uh, also um, a, a theme about uh, purely the new voices, how can we listen and take care of new voices. So every time it's the opportunity really to um, to be in a bath of new music, and uh, I love that. I think what is very exciting with LSO Futures is also that uh, the orchestra can reach actually um, different audiences. Um, and you have people uh, who would be, let's say so, maybe afraid of a concert with uh, big names like, I don't know, Bruckner or uh, Schubert, but uh, who are, uh, in a way, uh, much more comfortable visiting um, uh, a concert where there is no references. It gives a freedom to the audience, and the, the orchestra certainly did uh, uh, reach uh, people uh, um, who are not visiting uh, normally the Barbican and the LSO. And for an orchestra, it's so important not to get into a routine and to know by advance everything. No, with LSO Futures, we take collectively, if I may say, a very healthy risk. As a conductor, I always um, want to uh, have a contact with new music. And it's, um, it's like um, a fitness, a musical fitness, because uh, when you read a score, which uh, practically doesn't exist already, uh, it is extremely healthy. You have to, uh, you have to invent from the score what will happen with the orchestra or the players. And uh, this way to read and to study the music, um, I do that so regularly that it affects also my reading of the, the old music. So the music that was written um, centuries ago or decades ago. And uh, it's very stimulating for my eyes, for my brain and for my music making. And the older I get and the more I want to do. So the proportion of modern music or music of our time um, should be in my, and is already in my balance uh, more and more. The Panoptic schemes allow new uh, and young composers to emerge. We say that in English. Uh, this scheme allow, really uh, allows young composers to emerge and um, through a very, very precise and uh, great uh, process. So it's a short symphonic work and then, if you are selected after that, a little bit longer. So it's very carefully organized in the best way. And the workshops system here in St. Luke's is something that I don't know elsewhere in the world. There are some audience, and we just go into the kitchen of how a composition is made, and the orchestra gives feedback, for sure Colin Matthews, the great composer, and myself. So we are all there to make these young talents to be the next best composers of our time.